A great tribute. Uh, Chris Spears joins us now. Chris, we we got a great weekend ahead. We'll, we'll just pretend like Monday isn't happening. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my plan. <laughs> there you go. Uh, some people are excited about it. You know, I've, yeah, I've talked to some who was like, finally, a little taste of winter. It's been so dry. Oh. It really has. But it's it's going to be abrupt. That's for it's sure. It's not going to be a taste. <laughs> it's be yeah, more like it. a big giant dose, right? Exactly. Oh my goodness! Looking outside, that flag is just a waving there on that flagpole. It's going to be breezy off and on all weekend as part of this weather change that is materializing. Temperatures right now in the teens and twenties, pretty common across our stage from the northeastern plains back to the front range. We have a wide variety of temperatures ranging from the thirties to the the low 50s in Boulder, 13 outside of Gunnison from Paul Kaplan, and 28 on the north side of Colorado Springs from our weather watcher Steve Bennett. Quite windy across southern Wyoming that is grazing some of our northern counties this morning. Some of the higher terrain, some pockets of wind out there as well, and one of those pockets is right here on the west side of Metro Denver, Broomfield, Golden, Lakewood, on over into the Evergreen area, and Georgetown. The wind is at times getting up to 30. 35, even 40 miles per hour. We're dry this morning. We should be dry statewide today. Just these occasional high clouds working through Colorado on future casts. Here we go. Not a lot to show you today other than the fact that we will have those occasional high clouds passing through. And the other story is the warmth. Look at this 60s to near 70 along and east of I-25 40s in the higher elevations 50s in some of the mountain valleys like Salida 48 in Telluride even warmer to Tomorrow, southeast Colorado on Groundhog's Day could approach 80, if you can believe that. We're thinking low 70s here in the metro area, maybe even 50 tomorrow in Aspen. Then the bottom's going to drop out. Here's why. A storm over the Pacific coming into the northwestern coast this weekend will be here by Sunday night into Monday, and this is going to bring a very deep pocket of cold air along with a chance of snow. We already have winter storm watches in Wyoming, Utah, and parts of northwestern Colorado, and I do expect these to expand today, probably including Metro Denver. I want to give you one preliminary look, Joel, of the uh, snow forecast before we dive into the five day. Uh, let you know we are expecting enough to break out the shovels as we go into your Monday and Tuesday. So 60s and 70s down to the teens and 20s, Joel, with single digits for overnight lows. Stick around. We'll be right back.